In the end, the inevitable for Laurent Gbagbo, humiliated, defeated and under arrest. For days, he'd been holed up inside a bunker within his own compound. Then, an end to the stalemate and his political career. Ivorian forces moving in to arrest him, Bagbo apparently surrendering. It is uh, my pleasure to announce officially that the former president of Côte d'Ivoire, Laurent Gbagbo, has been arrested, is well and alive, and he will be brought to justice. These pictures were filmed inside the hotel where he was taken and shown on a television station owned by Bagbo's rival Alassane Ouattara, the man much of the world see as the rightful president of Côte d'Ivoire. This transition sends a strong signal to dictators and tyrants throughout the region and around the world. They may not disregard the voice of their own people in free and fair elections and there will be consequences for those who cling to power. We commend the United States, the government and people of France and other members of the international community who have worked diligently to ensure the safety and security of the Ivorian people throughout this crisis. Since last year's disputed election, Côte d'Ivoire has been plunged into crisis. Hundreds of people have lost their lives. Many will hope this arrest will bring an end to the chaos, but few will believe the road back to what was an already volatile peace will be easy. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera.